Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming. I want to do a video for Empires and Allies. And I know it's been a week, maybe since I made a video, but I am guilty of playing Batman Arkham Knight. But Empires and Allies is never too far away from my iPad. In fact, I wanted to do this view in iPad view. Um, not sure if I like it yet, but I've tried it with a couple videos. It's a little bit smaller. I do like the border, but um, yeah, we'll see how we do with some of these in the future. So this is my attack on New Zealand and this is battle lines. So you can see this is a straightforward attack and I literally mean straightforward because you drop them and, and you really want to funnel your troops uh, going in a north direction. And I can't really see a lot that the orbital strike cannon is going to help me out with. It looks pretty even all the way across the board. So I'm just going to start in the middle and take out one of the dome defense and see if I can get some damage was probably a little more north on that tower. I think I could have hit them both. Now I got to use my A10 in order to clean up that tower. But no big deal. So we got one drop spot here, so we're going to stack all of our troops. And we're just going to rush to the north. And we got a choice here if we want to spam some speed or start dropping A10 bombers. I went ahead and dropped the A10 bomber. I want to take some of that backline defense or at least weaken it up a little bit. I would like to get something down to build up a few more command points there. But now I'm just going to uh, orbital strike when my troops are fairly well protected there in the middle. But you got that disco ball over to the left, so I really want to get rid of that thing. Um, not a uh, direct hit there either. So my troops are starting to spread out a little bit, which normally wouldn't be that bad, but you got some uh, some some ground troops coming in. And hopefully I finish up the uh, the defense at the right time. I'm trying to keep pulling them back over to the left because there's some artillery and a few towers over on the right. Uh, pretty good job there. I got them, I got them kind of back funneled where I want. Still got a tower over on the left I need to take down. So now I'm in a pretty good spot to, to rush the headquarters. You still got a um, little bit of damage being done over on the right by the disco ball, but I got some healers over there that seem to be doing a pretty good job of keeping them alive, not losing too many. Um, stacking on the left is really good. No defenses over there, so nothing I have to worry about now. It's just uh, taking care of that headquarters, and then the cavalry is going to come over to the right. You can drop a hill spell just in case they run into a landmine or anything. So we don't have any last-minute troop losses. And there's the attack on New Zealand. So I've taken out Australia so far and now New Zealand. And we're going to go back here. Uh, you can see total victory. Not uh, not horrible. I mean, 33 losses there, and I got 57,000 uh, oil. So I'm more than made up for my casualties. And there you can see oh, we got a brief glimpse of Thunder Thompson. And then the ENA guys threw me a little bit of a curve. This has never happened before while, while I've been online. So maybe this is a new feature. I'll have to read up on it. But my base is currently under attack, so please wait. Uh, in about uh, four or 500 battles, I've never seen this particular message. So I'm under attack, and we'll check and see if it's a winning, a winning defense or a losing defense. And I'm going to move forward in the next couple videos and show you the next boss fight, which is going to be thunder thompson so uh thanks everyone for watching uh please subscribe below leave in the comments anything you'd like to see and uh let's keep pushing empires and allies peace